Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be talking about this new HK Ultra One. It is equipped with an AMOLED screen, Android system built-in and 4G network connection. Yes, it let you insert your SIM card in the smartwatch. Now, let me tell you that lately I've been loving this type of smartwatches with the Android system because uh, WhatsApp, Messenger, all those apps, you can run them just like on your smartphone. Oh, by the way, it has camera on the side so you will be able to take pictures or videos. It comes with voice recorder, photo album, Play Store so you will be able to download your favorite apps like uh, I uh, already download WhatsApp and YouTube. Yes, you will be able to watch videos on the smartwatch. And much more. So it is a very cool smartwatch, but before we go deep into it, let me show you what you will get in the box. Just as you see, it comes straight from Kiwi Time Store. The link will be down in the description below when you remove the cover. You will see the smartwatch, the user manual, it comes completely in English on one side and Chinese on the other. We have the charging A on one side to the charging station on the other for connectors as you see. We have this uh, plastic tool to remove the SIM tray and that way you can put in your SIM card. We have two pairs of straps, these ones right here, they look very cool and the ocean beige colors this will depend which one you choose on the link i will leave you down below finally we have the smartwatch let's remove this protector now when you touch on the link it will take you straight here it has a price of 70 dollars with 53 cents this includes the shipping 81 people already added to the card here is where i bought it from now just let me tell you this real quick this information that you will see on the page is not the real one i think they just leave it like that for very obvious reasons i think you very well know that on aliexpress this type of smart watches that look like the apple watches are uh, not allowed to sell so i think they just leave it like this but if we go on this other page right here it says that it comes with a 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 of storage. Now this information right here, it will depend which page do you see this information from. So another says something different, but I will show you here in a minute what the smartwatch says on the information inside. It comes with an AMOLED screen 2.02 inches, 480 by 520 pixels, a battery of 1000 milliamps hour. This is very important, please make sure you use a charger of 5 volt to 1 amp. We have Bluetooth 5.1, IP67, it says that it counts with Android 13.1. Now about this information on the camera, I don't know, because to be honest with you, from all of the smartwatches with Android and camera that I had brought to the channel, this one has the best quality. It comes with GPS, Wi-Fi, and you can see the networks that will, will work right here. Now, going back to the smartwatch, as you see, it has that Apple Watch Ultra style. On the right side, we come with the crown, very smooth to turn, camera right on the center, a second button right here, hold, stop, and button. On the back side, we have the sensor charging interface. I think you can see the four connectors right there, four screws, one in each corner, lock strap, stop, and button. And on the left side, we come with 10 holes for the speaker. And this right here is not a button. Here is where you will need this tool to open the SIM tray. So depend which country do you live in, you will be able to use the SIM card. Now, in case you don't, you can use the Wi-Fi or share your smartphone data with the smartwatch to run all of the apps. To be honest with you, that's how I use it sharing my smartphone data with the smartwatch. Now, about color, it's not silver, it's not titanium, it's more like a dark color, but it's not deep black. Here, just to give you an idea. Now, about if you will be able to use Apple Watch Ultra covers, that's something that you need to see right here. The crown will work, not a problem. The button, you will be able to push it, but as you see, the camera will be halfway covered. But definitely the crown and this second button right here will work. But if we go on the other side, this doesn't matter. It's not a physical button but the holes won't light that pretty well. So my suggestion will be use this type of a screen cover. You just uh, put it right here and as you see, it goes just fine. 
And now let's put on the straps. We just slide these ones in. They go real nice and smooth. Here we go with the bottom one. Yep, perfect. And now let's power on the device. For that, all we have to do is press the bottom button right here. Hold it for a few seconds. There we go. It says hello. Now, because we can with Android system, we had to wait, uh, you know, a few seconds to load all the system. And that will be the first watch face. If we touch on the icons, yes, shortcuts work. We turn the crown, it will switch uh, the dial. As you see, if we touch on it, it will switch color. We have this other one right here. Do the same thing, change color when you touch on it. The crown is very sensitive, I will say. If we touch right here, pretty cool the transition that it has. It doesn't go, you know, boom at once. It has that, that nice transition on a uh, chain the style and color. Very cool. If we keep on going, we have these uh, other ones dynamic. Here is where you can put your own uh, photo from your gallery. So it seems that from factory we will come with 11 print style. Now, as I said, the crown is very sensitive, but that won't be a problem. You touch and it will get you in this interface. You will be able to lock the dial. Now, if you select it, if you turn the crown one way or the other, E won't switch the watch face. From top to bottom, we have the shortcuts. You will be able to turn on the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. From bottom to top, you will find your notifications. From left to right, we can with the split screen. And to the other side, we get right into apps menu. Now about application, it won't really matter because as I told you, we come with the Play Store so you can download any app that you need on the smartwatch. The background, you can switch between this one and this other one right here. Let's select it and now as you see, the background has changed. It has a compass right here. Let's calibrate it. Here we have it. You can change the style by tapping on the screen. Not only that, but you can uh, switch the color if you want. Here we have it on green. Now about languages, it's a global version. So you will have many different ones where to choose from. I can keep on going. From settings, you can set up your Wi-Fi from here. You can uh, connect it to your uh, smartphone and share photo, videos, music, and your data. You can do some adjustments on app and notifications on display. We have night light. You can choose a period of time where you want the, the, the intensity goes down. You can turn on the palm press of the screen. That way, when you put your hand on top, it will uh, definitely turn it off. Raise to wake. If you want that, when you raise up your wrist, uh, the screen turns on automatically. Now about sleep on the screen, we can go 15 seconds, 31 minute, all the way up to 30 or always on display. Yes, you just touch on never and the screen will never go soft. You're able to change the font side. You have uh, four different uh, options where to choose from. Now on the menu, you're able to do zoom out and zoom in, even open the app. Not only that, but you will have 10 different styles where to choose from. It will depend on you which one to pick. The smartwatch goes real smooth. Now about microphone speaker, let's check. This is the recorder. Let's touch right here. Hi to friends, thanks for watching the videos. Please don't forget hit the like button to support the channel. It's highly appreciated. There we go, you can pause or stop. Now we go to the list and it's this one right here. Let's play it. Hi to friends, thanks for watching the videos. Please don't forget hit the like button to support the channel. It's highly appreciated. To be honest with you, it has a good speaker. Now going back to the system, this is the true. It says that it comes with a 3 gigs of RAM. And if we go to storage, it says that we had 32 in total. So the truth is this model right here, it has uh, three gigs of RAM and 32 of storage for your music, videos, photos, etc. Of course, you can see 12 gigs uh, already being used by the system and uh, some apps that I already download. And now let's connect it to this uh, smartphone right here. That way we can share the data. Let's pair it. 
here we go on Bluetooth settings activate this internet access right here there we go now we can use the smartphone data now even that I'm not using a SIM card on the smartwatch I already download WhatsApp and log in with my account on the smartphone so we can link the device to use the same WhatsApp now if I send a message there we go already receive it it has great vibration definitely you will feel it it comes with ringtone sounds very loud you can control the volume of course but it doesn't count with a banner it won't show the notification but that's not a problem you can download an app for that but if you prefer to leave the smartwatch system just the way it is you just swipe this way now you touch and you will be able to see the conversation if you want to answer from here with an audio you can go ahead and do it or if you prefer to send an emoji that's not a problem you can see it's already right here let's say the screen is off you have it like this and you receive a message there we go you will feel it vibrate twice it has good vibration and the tone definitely you will hear it so definitely you will know you receive a notification all you have to do is raise up your hand and swipe from bottom to top and you will be able to see the content right here if you want to go straight to the conversation just touch on it and there we have it from here if you want to call or video call you can do it it's not a problem here's the smartphone you can see the call is already right here I can answer if I need to and there we have it so remember this the way that these smartwatches with Android runs the apps it is exactly just like your smartphone this one because it has a camera you can even do video calls and talking about the camera let me show you right here real quick if we go on settings we touch the camera there we have it I will say it has a very decent quality from here you can switch uh, to take a video let's touch right here and there we have it now you can pause it you can use the crown if you prefer now let's go to gallery and we can play it and there we have it full screen about brightness for outdoor it won't be a problem we come with very good brightness even for sunny days Oh, from here you can press the crown twice to change the app style. Let me go through them real quick. Like I said, I'm not going into the apps because you can download uh, the ones you need from the Play Store. So it's not a problem. As you see, I already download YouTube and WhatsApp. Talking about YouTube, don't forget to subscribe if you like content like this. Now, on your wrist, this is how it will look, huh? very cool in my opinion now i know i know you want to know about the battery life and let me tell you i already used this smartwatch for four days so i can tell you it has different modes of power saving mode but if you don't use any of those you let everything run freely it lasts me eight to ten hours it will depend pretty much on configuration and usage and of course that having the gesture feature on now i tested yesterday with this feature of uh, raise your hand to wake up when i went to work it was on 65 percent of the battery i was sending and receiving messages on whatsapp and it lasts me seven hours so that means if you had this feature off uh, that when you raise up your hand the screen doesn't turn on it can give you a few more hours to be honest with you i really love this smartwatch the only downside i will say is the camera how it is on the side if you make a video call there we go the camera as you see is on the side but pretty cool that in case of emergency you can uh, take photos videos so it's pretty cool to have it now another thing that i need to mention is that we don't count with uh, the dial market but that is not a problem i repeat it has android in my other channel i already upload a video how to add more than 800 watch faces to this type of smartwatches completely free 
Now, about Android 13.1, to be honest with you, it looks exactly like the other Android smartwatches that run Android 8.1. The only difference that I notice is on the shortcuts panel. This one right here looks different. But other than that, it looks just like the other smartwatches with Android 8.1. Sadly, that type of information, the smartwatch doesn't bring it. And well, the friends, with that being said, take care and I'll see you in the next one.